So we're back on discrete mathematics, and in this video we're going to do permutations. Now, permutations is the counting of linearly arranged up objects, and these arrangements are called permutations when the objects are distinct. So we'll just refer back to what we did in the past videos, and let's say that we have five spots to hold playing cards on. So here's our five spots the, that are represented by these uh, rectangles. Now, how many linear arrangements are possible? Now the hint here is the keyword is arrangement. That means that repetitions are not possible. So in a deck of cards, we have 52 cards, right? So then on the first position, we have 52 choices. We, have, we can pick from 52 uh, of the cards. One of them is going to go into the first spot. So then after that, we are left with 51 cards. And after that, we are left with 50 cards. And after that, 49. After that, 48. And just times these all together. And that's what you call a permutation. So this is really similar to what we did in the past videos, what we did here. And there's really nothing new. Now here's our first definition. For an integer that's uh, n is greater than or equal to 0, that is n factorial. And that is defined by uh, 0 exclamation mark equals 1. And that's pretty much uh, the factorial that uh, you should have learned in the high school. If we, have, uh, if we have n distinct objects, then the way we can place them is uh, n factorial. So here, if we actually had uh, if we actually had 52 spots, then that could be 52 factorial, and we just follow this formula: n times n minus one times uh, n minus two, all the way to one for uh, for objects for objects more than one, more than or equal to one. n is greater than or equal to one, and that's pretty simple. And you should have learned that in high school. Now, the second definition is that given a collection of n distinct objects. Any, any linear uh, arrangement of these objects is called a permutation of the collection. Now, here's the stuff that you got to actually know. This is one of the most important formulas for, or, or it is the most important formula for uh, permutations uh, with respect to this being an introductory course. If there are n distinct objects and r is an integer with 1 less than or equal to r less than or equal to n, then by the rule of product, the number of permutations of size r for the n objects is uh, p n r equals to n times n minus one times n minus two all the way to uh, the rth, rth position where you have n minus r plus one, and uh, these are the positions. So uh, I've marked them here with n being first position, n minus one being second position, and so on. And you can derive this kind of formula from that. And from this formula, we can derive the most important formula, which is, uh, which is this. So you should really write this formula down because this is a really important formula, and I'm pretty sure you guys are going to use it a lot. So say, for example, that, uh, let's see. Yeah, this is, I'm just wondering what's important here. So let's consider this this little example that I've written down. Uh, let's say that r, which represents the number of spots you are, is 0. So then n is your distinct object. So p n0 is equal to 1. Because using this formula, and plugging 0 into r, we have n factorial divided by n minus 0 factorial, which is n over n factorial over n factorial. So this was equal to n factorial over n factorial. And since these two are equal, it's equal to 1, right? So that's how we use this formula. Because there's uh, zero spots to put all our cards in, there's really only that one way to have, uh, there's only really that one way of arranging uh, what, whatever you want to arrange. So that's a simple example of how we use this formula. And when permuting all of the n objects in the collection, we have r equals n, and so we plug in n for r, and that will give us n factorial over 0 factorial, which equals to n. Because 
um, yeah, r equals n, and if we just use the formula here, it's n factorial over n minus n factorial, and that is pretty much n factorial over 0 factorial, and I just told you that 0 factorial is equal to 1, which gives, it, which gives us n factorial. Now, let's go through a couple of examples to really hit this home. Hit this home. So, let's call this example 1. So, let's say that we have the word pilot. Okay? So, pilot, as you can see, it's a five-letter word. So, five letters. So, uh, if we want to permute all the, all the letters, or if we want to find all the linear arrangement of all five letters, then that's simple. We take uh, these five distinct uh, letters, and for the, first, uh, for the first position, there could be five ways of, uh, of uh, picking a letter for that spot. The next spot, four ways, and so on, right? So, you times it all together, and you get a number, which is uh, 120, right? I think it's 120. 5 times 4, yeah, it's 120. So that is also equivalent to 5 factorial. Now, let's say that we, uh, we only want to permute three, uh, three letters. That is, R is equal to 3. So what I'm trying to say is there is actually three spots. And using these letters, uh, we want to find the permutation of the objects. So, so we have three letters, right? So using the formula P N R equals N factorial over N minus R factorial, we have P, uh, number of letters that we have is, let me just write that down. So number of distinct objects is five, and we have uh, three spots. So five, and 3, and using that formula, 5 factorial over uh, 5 minus 3 factorial, that is equal to 5 factorial um, over 2 factorial, which is equal to 120 over 2, and um, that is equal to, uh, that is equal to 60. So then, the number of ways we can use these letters and the number of arrangements there are for r equals 3 is 60. So it can be like, I don't know, something like L-O-T or uh, I-L-O or something like that. So there are 60 different linear arrangements of uh, uh, using of these letters. So for another example, Let's say that we have pill. Now this is a trickier, uh, trickier example, such that we have two letters and they're really indistingu 